All right, hi everyone. Let's get my phone here and go to pattern-collections.com to find the next pattern on schedule for this week. Pattern focus is where you want to go. Um, necklace. And is there anybody drawing that one? No, okay. Get it nice and big here. This one is Necklace by Elena Labedva. Labedva? Labedva. Okay. Slavic names. Not so good with them. Okay. Step number one. We're going to make parallel lines or... I imagine that they don't have to be straight, but they could be parallel, okay? And then it looks like we're going to make this shape. Now, what is the easiest way to draw this shape? I'm not 100% sure. It might be easiest to draw this and then come up and draw this. Doesn't really show what is the easiest way to draw that shape. So we'll have to see. Um, I don't think drawing it this way is easy. I think it's going to have to be like that. And then the next step, we're going to uh, aura these. Just like that. And then, this is the part that makes it interesting. We're going to draw this little curve and then fill that in or start with the little and work my way big but I think you want to start here so that you end up with this little eye shaped orb right there that's very interesting so that's what it's it's gonna we're aiming for and then you can shade or you can put gems in or whatever <gasps> pardon me wow so that's that's what we're aiming for right there. So let's give this a go. Turn on my light. Everybody close your eyes. So hard. Okay. Uh let's see. Oops. No, 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 no. Don't don't close everything touch your screen on your phone in a random place and the next thing you know yeah things are not good um i think this one i want to put a border and i'm going to draw where i want my parallel lines i think i'm going to put them here like that Something like that. Okay. Do I want to actually make the border? I think I do. Do I want a solid border? Do I want a fat border? I'm not sure yet. So, you know, I'm not going to draw the border just yet. make those somewhat parallel and then I think the easiest way to draw that shape is going to be to go like this to about half like that and then come in and meet that oh I didn't go half I should have made a little mark where halfway. That's all right. That's sort of the shape we want, right? Pretty much. And then a few of those like that.
Something like that, right? Yeah. Okay, so far so good. <clears throat> and then I want this shape. If I do that line first, then that will define that sort of eye shape, that round orb. Because if I start here and work my way this way, I might end up with a funky shape. So if I start here, it will make that curve that I want. That's cool. I'm good with that. I, I do like that. That's that's really cool. <clears throat> but I don't want just one of those in the tile. I want something else. And rather than doing the ruffle like they have on the step out or the the, the um, sample, thinking I'm gonna put another one like here. Maybe you're like that. Maybe so that it's like going under, perhaps. Why not? I don't know why not. Let me make sort of a halfway point with my pencil. So that I'm a little more consistent with that shape because especially since my line is wider here than it is here it'll be hard to figure out where half is in my head right already done something weird Still have a bit of a frog in my throat from that cold. Sorry, folks. I don't know what it is about this season. I I think this is my third cold of the season. It's been a bad one. I 
usually if I get it then I'm done for you know just once I don't know is this germ mutating and it just keeps coming back what's the deal Oh, my son had the flu um, and he still got a cough from it. It's like not going away. like that yeah maybe <laughs> sorry I've got my sounds on on my phone I uh I need to keep my phone on so that my husband can get a hold of me. I suppose I could turn it to vibrate though. I will do that in a minute. That's interesting. Okay. And then it's going to have a border, a big fat brush border. Oh, where's my brush pen? That's not it. That's not it. I cleaned up because, aha, there it is. like that. Yeah, that'll work. I think something like that. Plus, plus a scribble. Why? I don't know. Just feeling it. feeling it. What was this called? It was called necklace, right? Yeah, necklace. Uh, which way is it going to live? Pencil lines. Not that you can see them, but I can. Let me get rid of them. 
and I'm feeling like I want to put a little striping in there. Oh, I missed a whole orb. You guys didn't yell at me. I missed a whole orb. Look at that. You guys noticed I I've noticed this on YouTube that they're doing something they're fiddling with the algorithm again I think um, I've noticed this lately that on my recommended videos because I watch a lot of YouTube I don't really don't watch TV anymore um, I just watch YouTube <laughs> uh, that on the videos that they recommend me to watch, I used to get like all of the subscriptions, all the people I subscribe to, if they uploaded a new video, it would show up in my recommended for you, the very first um, section. Because I always watch on my computer. I don't know if it's different on the phone or tablet, but I, I watch on my computer and so usually right underneath the video like here's the video that I'm watching here and underneath the video will be a, a you know four or five recommended for you videos and usually those have been the videos that were most recently uploaded that I hadn't yet watched from the people I subscribe to and so I always saw everything that they uploaded. Um, I've noticed recently that not only is it not people I've subscribed to, it's, it's other people in a similar uh, genre of the thing that I watched last. So, you know, if I watched a painting video, it will be more painting videos, but it won't be... Um, necessarily the people that I have already subscribed to. If it's another drawing video, if it's another um, cooking video, whatever it is, um, that's what comes up next under recommended for you, but it's not necessarily um, the people I have subscribed to. And, which is fine, because that's how you, you uh, find new channels and you find new content, right? Um... But I've also noticed that in Recommended For You, uh, I'll click on something and it's something I've already watched. I don't understand why Recommended For You has is all of a sudden showing me. Um, and sometimes it'll be my own videos. It's like, really? That's recommended for me to watch? I uploaded it. I don't need to watch it. I just don't, I don't get what YouTube is doing. Um, I understand, uh, you know, maybe trying to look, look for new content by, by, uh, recommending similar channels to, to what you normally watch. I, that I understand. And that's where a lot of people 
you know, find you when they're, you know, then maybe they, you found me by you were watching uh, somebody else's Entangle channel and mine came up as a recommendation and, you know, you, you found me that way. But I'm also finding that, that I know for a fact that there are people that I watch that have uploaded a new video because I see their post about it in Facebook and then I go to YouTube and it's not listed under my recommended videos. I have to actually go search them out. And so that can be interesting and disheartening if you are a content creator because you know that your newest video may not be uh, seen right away by your um, subscriber base. Um, I don't worry about it so much for me because, you know, I, I would do this for you guys no matter what worry about it for you you know if you are expecting to see me and to watch the next video and then it seems like it's not there and it's not there not because it's I didn't put it there although I must say the other week I totally blew it last week and I had uploaded everything onto YouTube but I forgot to uh, turn on the scheduler so nothing got published and I apologize for that. Uh, everything went out all at once in the middle of the week when somebody said, Hey, where are you? Where have you been? So I appreciate you guys who are looking out for me and who said, you know, I miss you. Where are you? Because I didn't think I had gone anywhere. So that was, that was my mistake. I, I realized what had happened is that I had uploaded those videos on Easter Sunday and I don't usually upload on Sunday. <coughs> usually what will happen is I will do all these drawings on Monday or Tuesday. Excuse me, I have to get a drink. Usually I'll upload on Monday or Tuesday and I mean, I'll draw on Monday and Tuesday and I'll usually upload my videos on Wednesday or Thursday, <clears throat> depending, and uh, put them all up there and get all the, the, the thumbnails done and the descriptions and everything and get it all ready to go and I'll schedule it for release for the next week. <clears throat> And so I didn't think about it on Sunday when I uploaded that, you know, because Sunday was, was a family day and we were busy and we did lots of things. And I uploaded it and then I just totally forgot to uh, schedule. So that was my fault. But anyway, I was just wondering if any of you guys had noticed in your perusal of the YouTubes if the recommended things for you were going kind of weird. Especially when when they're recommending things I know I've seen. And it's like it doesn't show up as already watched. Usually on YouTube it will have the little bar at the bottom so you can see if you've already watched it or if you only watched like part of it the bar will be only partly full. Um, <clears throat> And you can, you know, uh, resume where you left off if you got interrupted while watching a show, which I get quite often. You know, my, the people I watch um, that do art videos, like mine, um, can be lengthy. And sometimes I only have 10 minutes at work during break to, to watch a show. And so I'll watch the first 10 minutes of, of something and then I'll come back and watch the second 10 minutes on my second break. <clears throat> or, you know, lunchtime or whatever. Uh, so I know that, that it keeps track of where you left off. Um, <clears throat> but it's weird that these recommended videos don't show that I've watched them at all. I was like, this is just weird. I don't, I don't get it. Really just don't get it. 
what I'm going to do, I think for these is since I left this sparkle here, I'm going to leave the middle of these orbs light and I'm going to put the darkest on both sides here and here. So I'm just going to put some pencil on these sides and then blend it toward the middle to leave the light part in the middle of those spots. And then I'll see what else I want to do. I might want to put a little bit there, which probably. I need the bigger, I need the bigger stump. Where's my bigger stump? That's my color one. No, I don't want that one. This one. <clears throat> Okay, I'm going to do those two sides and leave that middle kind of shiny. like that. Oh, excuse me. Does that make any difference? Or do you not notice it? I don't know if you really notice it. If it really make gonna make a difference, but I'll do it anyway. notice I'm not sure you do they're going to need a shadow.
Ha! That's what they needed. A little shadow. Okay. I'm done. This was fun. I enjoyed myself. Uh, I didn't have a whole lot to say today. I'm not going to have a lot to say the rest of this week because, you know, I'm going to record most of them all in one day. So, uh, yeah. I will see you guys tomorrow. Um, looking forward to seeing what the day will bring us. I haven't I peeked ahead as to the names, but I really didn't look at the different tangles. So, we'll see what they are. I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.